The first sign that you're going to be successful, you make up your own mind. We live in a world in which everyone wants to tell us what to do. Go on social media. Everyone has an opinion. People are telling you how to run your life. The media is telling you what you need to do. Society tells you what you need to do. Your teachers, your parents, they tell you what to do. But at the end of the day, you've got to make up your own mind. When you realize, I have the ability to craft the story, to change the script, and to go out there and make up my mind for myself. And this is hard. This is difficult. That's why most people don't do it. But if you have the courage to do this, you're on the path to success. In today's video, 10 signs that you will be successful. You ready, gentlemen? Let's do this. Predictor number two, you know what you want. Again, you've thought for yourself and you've identified what do you want to get out of this precious life, this one life that you have. Now, you can achieve anything, but you can't get everything. And that's an important distinction to understand. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, Antonio, I don't know what I want. I need to look at what's out there. I need to try a lot of things. And think of this as the difference between a flashlight and a laser. A flashlight allows you to see what's out there, but it doesn't really have an effect on what you are shining that light on versus a laser. When you see something that you want and you want to go after it, this is when you take this tool. You actually have to know exactly what you want and go after it. That laser takes those photons, lines them up, and will cut through solid steel. And by the way, if you can't figure out at this point what you want, then do yourself a favor and identify what you do not want. Because once you can identify that, you can cut it off. It's going to be much easier to identify what it is you're going after and to be able to laser focus and go after it. So far, so good, right? Or some of you guys running into maybe issues with time, with accountability, with organization. Gents, if these problems sound familiar, you want to check out this productivity masterclass. It's taught by my friend, Thomas Frank. I absolutely love it. It is called Create a Custom System That Works. Guys, over 12,000 people have gone through this course over at Skillshare, the sponsor of today's video. And right now, this course is free. Whenever you sign up, you get your first two months free, and that's good for the first 500 of you that sign up using the link down in the description. Gentlemen, I've talked about Skillshare for over three years because they've got amazing courses. They've got courses on video editing, mobile photography, Photoshop, graphic design, anything you're looking for, you're going to find over at Skillshare. And let's talk about projects. Skillshare makes it so that you can interact with your fellow students. You can post projects you're working on, which is really useful for Thomas Frank's class on productivity. Gentlemen, I'm linking the Skillshare down in the description of today's video. First 500 of you that use it get two months free of Skillshare. Use it or lose it, guys. It's a great deal. It's a great offer with a great company. I'm proud to support because you investing in yourself. That's how you're going to become a success. That's how you're going to become great. The next sign that you're going to be successful, you've got grit. You have perseverance. You do not give up. And I'm not talking about being hard-headed. I'm not talking about repositioning yourself, maybe your company or going after a different career. But I am saying that you understand what it takes to go after something, the hard work, the pain, the frustration of failing. It doesn't feel good. It never feels good. But you understand that's part of the game. That anytime you want to get stronger, you want to get better. You've got to go through the pain. You've got to persevere. You've got to go after it. Guys, if you've developed the grit, if you can persevere through the tough times, you will succeed. The next sign that you're going to be successful, you develop your passion. Notice I didn't say pursue your passion or find your passion. No, you develop your passion. That is, you put in the time, the effort, and the work to become better at something. And all of a sudden, when you become and you master something, after years and years of effort, you start to really love it. And you develop a taste for it because you love succeeding. And you realize that, wow, I'm really good at this. And I'm better than a lot of people. And when you have that type of passion, whether you're building homes, whether you're sanding floors, whatever you are doing, if you've got that type of passion, you will succeed. The next sign that you're going to be a success, you consistently outwork people even when it appears that it really doesn't matter. You've got that hustle. You've got that drive. You are putting in that time and effort what for the small things. My friend Alex, I remember watching him at his first job, a Toyota dealership right out of college, and he was jogging from point to point to bring a customer water or to get back to the office so he could grab some paperwork and get back out there and sell. I asked Alex, why are you working so hard? Why are you jogging between points? And he's like, you know what? If I was in charge of this dealership, 
I would want my guys moving and greeting people as soon as they walked on with a great greeting that I knew would get people talking and then sell them a car. Now, he went on to run multiple dealerships and he's had great success because of that hustle, that drive to be the best. He wasn't those guys that you see that are doing the bare minimum. If that is what you think is going to get you through in life, you are going to be sorely disappointed. Gents, I can tell you having that type of hustle, having that type of drive is rare. And if you've got it, you will be promoted. Quick question for you. You enjoying this video? If the answer is yes, make sure to click on that like button. If you're new to Real Men Real Style, click on that subscribe button. And if you're not getting the email notification, what's up guys? Click on that bell notification so you know when these videos come out. The next predictor that you're going to be successful, you're not afraid of taking a calculated risk. So let's go back to that last point. You've got the drive, you've got the hustle, but nobody's noticing. Well, guess what? You need to have the courage to float around your resume, even in a small town. You need to look at different positions, maybe within the same company, outside that company, maybe in a different city, have an adventurous spirit and realize that there is always risk. That job that you think is going to be there forever, that government job. I know in the United States, all of a sudden people were not getting paid. The point is, gentlemen, everything in life has risk. And if you're willing to take a calculated risk, be a bit bold, success is right there waiting for you. The next sign that you're going to be successful, you're not afraid to make a decision. And this sounds very simple, but so many people are afraid to make decisions. They hold off. They do analysis paralysis. They're always waiting for more information. You realize anytime you make a decision, you are not going to have all the information you would like to have. And therefore, every decision you make has the chance to be wrong. When you are consistently taking action, you are not doing the opposite, which is inaction, which is letting the world affect you. You're going out there and pushing. You're going out there and asking. You're going out there and making decisions. Yes, making mistakes, but also making things happen. And success, gentlemen, happens to those who make it happen. The next sign that you're going to be successful, you enjoy the process more than you actually enjoy the rewards of when you reach your goals. So, this one's interesting. A lot of us, when we're going after something, we think, okay, I can't wait to get to that point. I can't wait to have the body I want. I can't wait to achieve that particular goal with my business. And what happens when we hit it? We all of a sudden set another goal because it wasn't the goal. I mean, yes, it's nice to enjoy it for a little while, but what we really want is actually to go through the process. And yes, a bit of the pain. Yes, the triumphs that go with the ups and downs of going after a goal. Guys, that's what makes it fun. And when you realize that you're enjoying the ride, that you enjoy the process more than simply the goals, all of a sudden it becomes a joy to put in the effort, to put in the work, to go after it. And this is when you start to really succeed. The next indicator that you're going to be successful, you are a bit strange. So, your friends want to go out drinking and partying and you want to stay in and finish coding that app that you've been working on, yes, you are going to be successful. Your friends, they want to go watch the Super Bowl and you want to finish writing that book, that novel that you've been working on because you're going to get this thing published. You are going to be successful. Whenever you can find something that you obsess over, something that you just got to get into the details, you will have an argument with people that you care about because this thing matters that much and they need to see it. When that is happening, you are on the path to success. Success happens when you care about something so much that you want to see it to completion. You are going to make it happen. So, what to watch next? Gentlemen, check out this video right here, how to organize yourself in a single day. Guys, I break it out so that you can become a more organized person. Check out this video right here. Not to your liking, you want something different. Check out this video right here, 10 mistakes that screw up your mornings. I talk about the perfect morning routine, how to develop it guys, and all these videos I am linking to down in the description. And gentlemen, don't forget about Skillshare. If you want two months free, I've got a link for you right down there in the description. That's for the first 500 of you that use that link right down there in the description. Great company, great service. As I've said, they've got awesome courses. I highly recommend. And if you want a class on productivity, check out Thomas Frank's class, Productivity Masterclass. Create a custom system that works. It's a great class. He's had thousands of people go through it. Highly recommend it. That's it, gentlemen. Take care. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.